Hello, this is Tommy Tan again. Today I'm going to tell you three misbeliefs of being a computational biologist. I hope you enjoy it. Misbelief number one computational biologist has to know complicated machine learning algorithms. It's a false belief. Some time ago I tweeted. In fact, uh, as long as you know Unix commands, Python, R, and basic statistics, you can already tackle a lot of genomic uh, problems. So I really like this Mimi. Tell me the truth, I'm ready to hear it. So most of the time, you won't need deep learning. You won't even need machine learning. So always try those uh, simple uh, methods first. For example, linear regression. I always uh, prefer simple, simple over complicated. Some time ago, I received this message. So hello, I'm interested in learning more about data analysis and bioinformatics. How can I become a more sophisticated analyst? So what do you mean by being a, a more sophisticated analyst? So in this recent actually paper, so the comparisons of uh, transformation of single cell uh, RNA sequencing data. So out of 22 approaches that are uh, benchmarked, a simple actually lock transform plus uh, a pseudo count is as good or better than other really sophisticated methods. Coincidentally, I also I saw this in a tweet by Wolfgang Haber. So most of my supervision boils down to if a complicated new method applied to a complicated new dataset does not give desired results, don't try to fix it by throwing yet another complicated thing. Rather, simplify, take apart, try with toy data. So all these examples show that simple is greater than complicated. Misbelief number two. Computational biologist has a magic keyboard. So I, I borrowed this uh, from Torsen, a bioinformatician in Australia. So people think uh, about computational biologist or bioinformatician, they have this push button uh, keyboards. For example, they have a, a, a keyboard, a key just for core variants, RNA-seq analysis, or make fancy figures. And I think just uh, yesterday I saw this tweet. It's interesting how some web biologists uh, can spend weeks, months, or even years just on experiment. But they complain that one hour, three hour, even overnight is too long to wait for a complicated computational method to analyze the data. So I, I actually replied, so we really need education on both sides. So I was in wet lab, so I did a lot of experiments. I understand how uh, how tough and how complicated, how time consuming to perform experiments. But I, I also understand uh, it can be really challenging to uh, just uh, for data analysis. So this is the typical day of my life as a computational biologist. So first, installing the software. So I think the number zero uh, task for bioinformatics is install the package without error. So some tools are really hard to install because they have a lot of dependencies. And I sometimes spend just whole day just, just to install a tool. Second, Googling. So we don't know every stuff. So I have to, if I actually met, uh, encountered an error, uh, I, uh, when I install software, I have to Google the error message and also Google how to use this uh, software. Then I read menus of that bioinformatics tool uh, and then use that tool. Converting file formats. So bioinformatics or, or computational biology is notorious about well, with the different file formats. And you have to convert one file format to the other file format in order to feed into a different tool. 
So then next, tidy in the data. The real data are always messy. For example, if you got the data, Excel sheet from your uh, web biologist, and it may have inconsistent column names, and the, the, each cell may be uh, formatted in a different way. So we take a lot of time to actually tidy the data. And for the real analysis, for the plotting, modeling, only account for 20% of our time. Misbelief number three, computational biologists are supporting roles. While it might be true like many years ago, so in this paper published in 2017, they argue that we need to embrace the, the shift of computational biologists from pure like bioinformatics service provider to leaders of cutting edge programs. So I think the, uh, the author have their points because computational biologists can generate hypotheses by analyzing large scale uh, genomics data sets. And of course, uh, the findings from computational analysis need to be validated by wet biologists. And it's going to be a win-win situation uh, when computational biologists and the wet biologists collaborate. Okay, that's the three misbeliefs for uh, computation for being a computational biologist. Next uh, comes the book recommendation of the day. So I highly recommend this uh, book, Modern Statistics for a Bi uh, for Modern Biology, authored by Susan Holmes from Stanford and Wolfgang Haber uh, from EMBL. So I will have the link. Uh, in the uh, description of this video. So go and check it out. So that's it for today. Click, click subscribe if you like this content. Thank you, happy learning.